Hey there guys, this is Obsidian Chill. We've got another video for you today. This is a continuation of my test server content regarding episode 38, Wonderverse. In this video, we will be going over the brand new consumables. So it's similar to like the Halloween where you had to fortify the candy to get uh, the trick or treat boxes. Similar to uh, Justice League Dark with the Vampire Lord and his consumables. Uh, now we have this one here, so it'll work in, in Wonderverse content. So basically, once you have it fortified, uh, you'll be getting some type of related consumable to that. So when it's all tied to the solo, so once you run the solo, you'll get the Amphora of the Gods uh, artifact, basically, that you have to fortify. And then as you run the solo, you'll get different nectars. There's blue, yellow, green, and red. Now, if you if you queue up from the on-duty menu, it's, a, it's completely random which solo you'll get. Because it's, it's four different solos, uh, four different variants. Um, so if you keep the on dude menu, it's random what you're going to get. You'll be able to know which one you're in because the colors of those crystals are either going to be blue, red, yellow, or green. But if you want to control which ones you get, like say, for example, you can see this M4 of the guards is blue. So that means it's going to be tied to the blue nectar. And what I mean by that is if we go to fortify, if I put yellow in here, it's just regular XP. I can still get a blue one. But it's, since it's blue and I'm putting in yellow, it's not going to be uh, a boosted XP. But if I put blue, you'll see I get the XP bonus increase. So it's going to take less uh, nectars to fortify, which obviously is good because it saves that. Because you only get one per run. So, in that case, if you want to pick and control which ones you get, if you go to open world, there's te uh, basically teleporters to each individual solo. So the Temple of Athena... We've got the Temple of Aphrodite, Temple of Hera, and we've got the Shrine of uh, Hippolyta. I'm terrible with Greek names. So basically, you can go to each one of these teleporters and pick which one you get. So I put up on the screen, as I did that, as you saw, in terms of which color you get. Uh, so if you're, say, you're short with like one yellow nectar, uh, you don't have to keep queuing up the solo to get it random. You can walk. make sure you reset first and walk straight into that teleporter and you will get the yellow instance. So how does a fortify system work? So as you'll see in XP, so if we put, kind of, for example, just put the blue in here, the max rank is 3,500 experience. And each one of these are 500 each. So basically how that works is say if I have uh, yellow here, it's going to take me seven of the non-boosted ones to get that artifact. Or I could do three, technically three, and then one of one fake one or like four blue. So if we go back to the Fortify, go back to Infora. So if I put seven yet yellows, I will get the um, artifact done and get that consumable. That's a pretty big waste, uh, but I mean, if you're stuck and have a bunch of extras, or I can put three blues and be almost there and then put one extra one or four blues you have your choice so it'll still be blue even though i put a yellow in there but it's just basically the xp so for the sake of this we're just going to do we're just going to do four blues just to make it a bit more cleaner i know technically that's four thousand experience but uh, i'd rather just color match for now so we go to the blue put four in four to five maximum rank achieved Go back to the inventory, open the consumable, and now we have M4 of the Gods. It gives us another one, so we can see from the color it's going to be yellow, and we just got this consumable, which is Breakout. So we'll put that there for now, same thing. So we'll start with the yellow process. We're going to make four. Go back into the Fortify. Four yellow. And now this one gives us the red one. And now we have, on use, this item applies these effects. 100% of max supercharge. So I will show you what that means in a moment. We'll just get the other consumable. So this was the green one. Obviously, that was just one, the example of what that looks like before. So we'll show you all what these are. So same thing. We're going to go back into the artifact. Oop, didn't split it. Four red nectar, fortify, reached, open it. And now 
it gives us the yellow one again for example but we've got the red consumable and the red consumable is a critical ability chance critical weapon critical healing and critical power which is pretty much the same as those um candies from the seasonals those ones that we get that uh expire So it is an RNG element tied to it, which consumer you get. You can't control which uh, artifact you get. So uh, I just got a yellow, um, but you can still keep putting in, like I said before, unmatched ones, but you, we want to save the XP for sure. So as you can see as well, the, all these red nectars are account bound. Some of the consumables are account bound. So you can trade them between your alts, but you can't buy these on the broker or anything like that. They're all bound to the account. So let's show what these actually mean. So easy one. Aphrodite's Ambrosia. This is simple a second soda. So you'll see it's a soda, but if I take my regular one, it doesn't share a cooldown. So really it's just gonna be used if, um, cause it, it gave the same effect. So basically my soda here, 50 to 90, 45 to 80. I think this one's slightly better, 50 to 90, 45 to 80, no, same thing. So it's even worse than the Bottle City Soda, but it, it doesn't share a cooldown. So it's just, uh, it's, I mean, you can it's forgettable, but I mean, it's, same thing if you're like a healer or need to spam or a controller you could take the soda and then take this one back to back so it is helpful from that standpoint same thing with a tank if you really need to cover health so it is somewhat usable uh just depends on the situation and then obviously this one's going to be a breakout uh this one is as you can see use athena's ambrosia to release nearby alleys from the tyranny of grail's mind control uh, if you saw my previous video on the raid uh there is a mind control mechanic to that so this is how you break it out I'm also 99% positive the magic supply crystal will work because it works in every other situation. Uh, it's worked in Atlantis and Deluge. It's worked in um, other raids as well where there's been mind control. So uh, watch out for that. At least try that magical supply crystal. So, but I mean, if you don't, you just use the breakout consumable. So the red one, obviously the same thing. This is pretty self-explanatory. Critical attack chance, critical weapon attack chance, uh, critical healing chance and critical power chance all for 30 minutes so let's look at the supercharged one here because that's going to be the most uh, popular one and the most kind of uh, uh, most likely broken one especially because you can use it in the raid so let's kind of uh, just pop to somewhere and I believe I think it said it had to be used in combat no, it's going to be used in one of his content and not when engaged in combat. So, yeah, so it can't be in combat, which is fine. I mean, that's not really a big deal because you're going to be out of combat when you kill something. So, I got Big Gun. I don't have... Big Gun is a 100% supercharge, 10,000. I don't have extended supercharge in the chest. I am not running Strap of Soul Cloak. So, when I use Big Gun, it's going to use my entire bar. So, my entire supercharge is gone. Now it's back. 100% supercharged, back to back. So yes, I still have to deal with the 60 second cooldown of Big Gun, but I mean, when you think about like Berserk being, um, what's 12 seconds, Circuit Breaker is 15 seconds. Um, you could pretty much do two Berserks back to back and then through the next set of ads, pop it again. There you go, Berserk on the next set of ads. So uh, you could be pretty toxic with these consumables. You have to spam the solo, but I mean, if you really want to care and spam the solo that much to get these 100% supercharged ones, uh, you can. Um, but that's that's gonna break the content for sure. Uh, that's gonna be pretty interesting because these are gonna be pretty much mandatory for like elite runs, uh, for any kind of damage comps. Because the same thing, this, the the sneaky thing is like, if you if you're trying to do like a damage comp and said don't use this consumable, how are you gonna prove that? You could easily just sneak it in, then you supercharge and just say that, you know, it's a bug form spam or something like that. So we've never, we've never had something this powerful before. Maybe if, like if it could be used like in a specific only instance, but no, you could use this in the alert, the raid, open world, whatever you want. You could just, you could have berserks and circuit breakers for days. So, um, especially when all the other supercharged cooldowns are 30 seconds or 60 seconds, there's you know, the, the not being able to use it in combat is kind of pointless because uh, <laughs> you're going to have plenty of opportunities before combat to pop it. Because even in boss fights, there's a, uh, you're out of combat sometimes in the cutscenes. So when the cutscene's over, you have like a fraction of a second to hit it before you're going to be in combat again. So boom, there you go. Same thing with healers. You know, use concentrated ground, pop it, 100% done, pop it again, free, free concentrated ground again. 
So that's going to be interesting how that plays out in terms of balance. But there we go. There's the new consumables and how you get them. And the supercharged one's pretty OP. <laughs> we'll see how it plays out. Take care, guys. We'll see you in the next video.